Okay, so here's the situation. I started to notice green patches here and I was worried there was going to be some mould. I also just added in food and I realised the previous food hadn't been eaten and I hadn't seen any workers out. Um, so I was quite concerned and when I tried to look in the gap there was only like two workers I could see. And so I started to take away some of this because it had actually been crumbling and it looked like the nest had been completely blocked off. Then I didn't think the queen was alive. I've just seen her move, I've seen about two or three workers, but that's about it. And considering we started with about 13, 14, maybe 15, when we first moved them into here, I'm kind of concerned what's happened to all those workers, because I can't see their bodies anywhere, and hopefully they haven't escaped. Um, but at the moment, this is all empty, and then you can see like a larvae there, and that's sort of where I stopped. So maybe by the morning they would rebuild it, I don't know, um, but hopefully we'll see some more workers soon. Okay guys, so it's been a couple weeks since I last filmed these ants and I don't know how well we're going to see this. I'm going to have to do this so delicate, delicate, click, 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 click. <laughs> I turned into a chicken. Delicate, I can't even say the word. Anyway, um, you can see some pupae in there. There's a lot of larvae and tons of eggs. It's, just, it's very difficult to show you on camera. But basically, if we look along here this is where I removed the excavator clay just here they haven't bothered to rebuild it they've actually just thickened this area so um they really just don't want the outside world getting in and it's weird because it's something they would do in winter but in actual fact they're very active in there and um they're actually there's just tons and tons of eggs and stuff in there if I can get the microscope in there I will and I'll show you that footage now but basically, I made this video a little bit earlier, you'll know that I usually do ant videos once a month at the end of the month. But, I'm thinking of making a change with the ants. Once again, I swear I always am. And I get like the sassy comments like you would have more ants if you didn't screw up so many times. I'm like, mm-hmm, that's actually kind of true. But, I do try my best. So basically, I was thinking of doing an all-natural tank. So I saw Ants Canada's video where they had a whole terrarium for this massive colony and it was all natural. I really like that. Now I'm not obviously looking to build anything like that because my colony is so tiny. So it will probably take place in this particular tea farm or in another tank I have. But basically what I wanted to do is just go back to basics and have like you know, soil that the ants would experience in the wild anyway, maybe some old leaves in there to decay, um, some wood, um, and just make a little ecosystem. I think that's just the way it works best. The interesting thing is, not only can I observe this species out in the back garden, but I can observe its family. So what I mean by that is if you remember, let's see if we can really zoom in. I don't know how well, oh, can you see some movement? I can see a worker. So basically, this queen was a princess from a nest outside. And so I can literally observe her family. And what they encounter is so different to this. They don't encounter this kind of sand. Now maybe really deep down in the dirt, there may be some kind of like sand or hard packed clay. But um, just seeing how they interact with everything around them I'm like, why don't I just recreate that? So my question to you guys really is, do you think that's a good idea? How should I go about doing it? Should I just take some dirt from outside and put it in a tank and just grab some bits from outside? I know most people say you should probably disinfect it and un I understand why. I never thought, considering how invasive ants can be, how much they can spread and completely destroy things, I never knew they were so sensitive to things. Like you could literally wipe out a colony so easily. 
So, if you have some advice for me, if you've ever done this before, please let me know. I figured it'd be best to do it now whilst they're still confined into this test tube. They don't seem to want to come out. And um, I can really just transform the tank once again, because I always do. And hopefully then I'll be settled, because at the end of the day, I'd rather the colony thrive and not really be able to see them, rather than being able to see them and them just not growing and not doing well. So, let me know in the comments section below, even if you like know whether microfauna and microflora from outside, so we're talking about really small like inverts, little things that are very difficult for us to see, um, that could add to the ecosystem, not only that, but possibly become prey to the ants. Which sounds a bit mean, but you know, it works naturally, that's what I kind of want to aim for. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.